We are today going to look into the asset management within Explore Workspace. So within Terrible IO, if you pop into the menu, we pop into Explore and into Assets. Within Asset Workbench within Explore, this is where you can see all of your assets, not just from host vulnerability scanning, but with cloud resources, web applications, and then having a view of all. So when you select all, gives you a detailed view based upon your assets that have then been discovered or fully assessed, where these assets have been sourced, where the source has been seen, as well as what type and when they were last seen. And of course, there's a um, graphical display displaying how long they were seen by. And then we have the ability to see how many assets there are per tag. And there's a long list. So you can scroll through these. When we click on any of these, these are able to populate back. So we can click on any of these and it will populate to this, these hosts. And again, this display is interactive and will update. What we're going to do is look at the host vulnerabilities to start with. So this is would be classed as your normal VM vulnerability based scans. As you can see, the, the filtering has changed. You've got this filter control option will allow you to adjust whether you want to see just licensed ones, whether we want to look for web applications, but we're going to look at the web. We're going to then look at the hosts so we can select what source that we want to be looking at. So in, for example, I can select an agent-based scan. When it was seen, I'm going to say, I want to see within the last 60 days. Um, and I'm not interested in creating of those. And I can click apply. That will then, of course, look at all of my assets and that will, of course, change this. I can then, of course, pop in a save search and save this. This would then be available for to be able to be used previously, so I can name it. I can also create or update a tag based upon my search criteria. Um, and then, of course, this can be then used. When we're looking at um, vulnerability in the assets, we can, of course, select look at the actions. This can then allow me to add or remove a tag from a specific asset. Or if you do have Tenable Lumen, you can then adjust the ACR that's associated with that. When we want to select any of these assets, let's say if I want to export this list that are associated with this criteria, I can select all and I can export this export which is available, of course, on, on the other three as well. I can schedule it. I can select what format I want and, of course, adjust what configuration I have. So this is the fields that will be available in my export. So, again, lots and lots of different things that I might be interested in. As we can see, we can pop into cloud resources. Filtering is near off identical, but, of course, it's slightly different gives you, of course, which region that it wants to, what resource type. And again, within web applications, you have, again, the ability to look at the filtering and, of course, see additional filtering if it needs be. What has also come in with the advanced, with the Explorer, is to be able to use wildcards. So I could pop in a wildcard to be able to display something. So, for example, I could put in wildcard gateway. And that will come up with anything that has gateway in its name. As you can see, there's three items here. So I also want to highlight the book icon. If you need any further documentation, they could be found within the documentation. And there will be a hyperlink that puts you through directly through to our documentation that explains it in much more detail if required. Thanks very much.